Hey there, so for this month's class lesson, I have for you a self-control lesson. Now, when it comes to classroom counseling lessons, there's some things that you wanna look for in engaging counseling lessons. You wanna make sure that they are interactive and fun. So of course, we want the kids to have fun with these, right, and to not be bored. This does a couple things. First, it makes them engaging and memorable, and the more memorable a lesson is, the more likely the kids are going to retain the information that we're teaching. And the second thing this does is that it is a proactive classroom management and behavior management strategy. So by having an engaging lesson, we're ensuring that the kids are into it and they're more likely to stay on task. They also check for student understanding. So we wanna make sure that our lesson is doing some kind of data collection and checking for student understanding. And lastly, this one's good for second to fifth grade. However, you can modify it if necessary or make a few tweaks. So here's what it looks like in action. As you can see, there are a plethora of fun activities here. It includes a counselor's guide and an outline. So this is aligned to the Ask Mindsets and Behaviors and the CASEL framework. You'll have some objectives there, supplemental resources, and then an outline and script detailing exactly what you need to do. And you get a self-control definition poster. So you can define self-control at the beginning of the lesson using the included poster. You could always you know, reuse this um, for all your lessons or let the teacher keep it and post it somewhere in the classroom if they want to. And then later, you're going to relate back to the icebreaker activity. So after the icebreaker, you'll say, hey, let's look at our poster. How did that activity relate to self-control? So like I said, there is a hands-on icebreaker and discussion. Now this icebreaker activity is pretty funny. You have one student wait in the hallway, and then the other students are gonna choose an object from the classroom to be it. So for example, like a stapler. So everyone knows except the student who stepped outside. And when they come back, it's kind of like a 20 questions thing. They're supposed to guess what it is. And the rest of the class can't point and speak or give hints. Um, they can only say yes or no. So it's really fun. And the kids who are, you know, can't say anything, it's a big self-control challenge for them. And then there's a turn and talk. So they're going to turn to their pair and discuss how that icebreaker relates to self-control for the discussion portion. Now the breakout groups activity. So this is so fun. You're gonna divide the class into three groups and there's three different puzzles that they'll be completing. So each group will have an envelope with all the contents of their breakout group and they have to do their one exercise. So for example, this one has um, like a social story about self-control Sean and then there's a puzzle that they would do. And then the second puzzle is also about Sean, um, but this one is a where they're gonna fill in the blanks with these different letters. And puzzle number three is like a cool crack the code thing they have to solve based on these symbols. So then they'll have a cut and paste reflection. Um, so for this one, they're going to try different coping strategies based on their interests and paste them into their self-control toolbox. And they have a few questions they can answer. And of course, we'll be tracking that data. So I love to use self-assessments. These are simple three question self-assessments. All they have to do is circle or color in the thumbs up or thumbs down to indicate yes or no. Um, you'll pass these out at the beginning of your lesson and then again at the end. You don't even need to get the student names and dates, just keep it super simple. This will give us a general overall understanding of what percentage of the class understands you know, what self-control is or can demonstrate it and can identify strategies. Okay guys, I hope you love the self-control lesson as much as I do.